Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Dawn here, and today's video is just going to be me showing you guys how I put beach waves into my hair, and damn it, I forgot to go get my heat protectant. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my heat protectant. This is Lance Hair Rival Heat Shield Keratin Infused. And before I start, obviously let's notice the white elephant in the room. I have green hair. Um, my cousin did this for me. It is a wig and it is just looking gorgeous. I'll link all the information down in the com description box below so that you guys can like see this. It's just like amazing. Like the hair quality is amazing. Like the lace front is unclockable. Wig who? So you guys it's like this neon green. Um, I'm going to ask him like what products he used to get achieve this color. So, um, yeah, but let's start off with using the heat protectant. I'm just going to spray that all over the head. Lift up the hair so I can get in all the little areas. You want to focus on your ends because you don't want them to get ratty and nasty. And you just want this hair to be flawless. So next I'm going to take a brush, any kind of brush, and I'm just going to brush my hair to get the product evenly distributed so that it's nice and gorgeous. Oh, look at that, you guys. It already looks more flat. It looks pretty. So now that I've brushed my hair and got all the product evenly distributed, I'm going to section the hair off so that I can start from the bottom and work my way up. You can take anything like a bobby pin, a clip, whatever works best for you. Alright, so I'm going to start with the back piece and the item I'm using is, it's like this kind of curling iron but I'm going to use it as a barrel because it is really thick and the whole circumference of the iron gets super hot. So um, yeah, I'm going to use this. I'm going to start like this, take it behind my head and wrap it around the barrel like so. I'm going to leave the tip out so that it gives that natural laid-in messy look. And you're going to hold each strand for about like 10 seconds. I like to curl them away from my head because it gives it frames your face better. At least it does for me. I like to grab small to medium pieces just because it looks better that way. Oh, and when you have that, separate these pieces. Something I like to do when I get to the top, when it looks too puffy, like towards right here, I like to take the curling iron and I just lay it on it until I feel that it looks flat and groomed enough at the top. And already then you can tell the difference from both sides. Now I'm just going to continue to curl the hair.
Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This tutorial, it was really fun for me. I found out that I really love styling hair on camera. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you guys want to see more things like this on my channel, go ahead and let me know. I think that this is, came out really pretty, to be honest. This hair is just amazing quality. I love it. Um, let me know if you guys want to know what kind of hair this is. It's amazing. It just looks so good. I'm just going to do a 360 for you guys or a 180 whatever one is in a full circle so you guys can see it just looks so good I love it um, don't forget to subscribe on your way out hit the notification bell and um, you know just leave me um, things that you guys think in the description box leave your opinions or whatever it may be all social media will be in the description box below and um, yeah I'll see you guys later have a good night or day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you guys later Mwah.